Next time you need to send a memo to a long list of people, try this. Let's rename this sheet. Right click and choose rename. Call it whatever you want. I called it data. Here I have a list with four columns. Name, position, company, and email. Now let's convert this list into a table. Select all the data, then go to the Insert tab and select Table, or just use the shortcut Control plus T. Make sure to check the My Table Has Headers option, then click OK. We all love a good deal, and Casemate is here to deliver just that. See the link in the description below. If you need to add a new row, just press the Tab key in the last cell, as you can see. Finally, name and save this file. I will call it data. Also make sure you save your document locally instead of saving it on the web. Let's insert the data list into a Word document. In the main menu, click on Mailings. Then on Select Recipients, here. Of the options you see, choose Use an Existing List. The File Explorer is opened. Here you can select the file you want. For this example, I use the one I just saved, Data. A new window is opened. Select the table you are going to use, in this example, Data. Make sure to check the option First Row of Data Contains Column Headers, then click OK. Being in the Mailings tab, let's click on the Insert Merge field. When you do it, you will see the headers we have in the list. Name, position, company, and email. Let's click on each one of them. Now if you want to preview the data, click on Preview Results. As you can see, the headers have changed to the information we have in the first row. If you want to preview the next rows by going forward or backwards in the list, just click on these two buttons. As an example, I have a memo about a work meeting I want to send to the different members on the list. Let's delete name, position, company, and email. Now let's replace these spaces with the data we have in the list by clicking on the Insert Merge Field button and select the labels we are going to use. Let's do the same steps for each label, and that's it. Keep our creative juices flowing by buying us a cup of coffee. See the link in the description below. Thank you. If you click on the Preview Results option, you can preview the data you have on your list by clicking these two buttons here. Finally, let's save the file. In the main menu, go to the File tab and select the Save As option. Choose where you want to save the file. Give it a name and choose the format. PDF, for example, is a good option. Have you thought about where to use this valuable tool? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Burn to Learn channel if you haven't already.